and welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey today. I have a sweet episode for you. That's right. Look at my shirt. It's so fantastic. It says, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word. Amen. That's a good song. If you don't know it, look it up. It's a good thing. Okay, let me read you your verse for today, and then I will show you a sweet surprise I have. Psalm 119. Did you know that Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the entire Bible? It's true. You know how many verses it has? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? No. I'm just kidding. You might know. It has 176 verses. That's a whole lot of verses. Let me tell you about one of them. Psalm 119 verse 103 says this. Your words, talking about God's words, your words are very sweet to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to me. You know what? Honey... In those times and even now, honey was known as something that was nourishing, something that was refreshing and sweet. So we can read it again like this. Your words, so the words of God are very sweet to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to me. So that means that the words of God are nourishing. The words of God are refreshing and the words of God are sweet. And I have someone who's very sweet here today and... She has something very sweet that she's doing. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's see. Who's our special guest? Who's our special guest? <gasps> it's Cadence. Hi. All right. Kay, what are you doing today? I'm making a gingerbread house. What? And some little gingerbread guys. That looks amazing. <laughs> wow, gingerbread guys. Yep. Oh, are those angels because they have a halo? They are angels. What? Yeah. So so show us around the, uh, the sweet shop. So... We have some nice peppermint uh, roof decorations oh, with our wow. little gumdrop lights. Oh, look at that. And our um, cute little front windows that I think are very nice. And our front door. Oh, and it looks like a present. It does. How cute. There's a lot going on here. Yes. There's a lot. A lot of sugar. A lot of sugar. So let me ask you something, Kay. Yes. What is your favorite candy? Ooh, probably Junior Mints. Same. High five. It's like the best for movies, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite Bible verse? Actually, I would have said the one you just read. Um, for real? Yeah. I feel put on the spot right now, so I don't remember what it is, but the one about honey and the sweetness. The sweetness um, of God's words? Yes. Yeah, I put it on the spot. It's very true. <laughs> Let's look at the, the thing again. It's so cute. Do you have any last words for our people today? Um, not really. I hope you get to decorate your own gingerbread house. And oh, do you have a sweet weekend? That was good. That was so good, right? Right? She's literally right there. Uh, yeah, it's a good time. So anyway, let's pray together that we would have a heart for God's word and that his word would be sweet like honey to us, refreshing, nourishing, and there was another one, sweet. Oh, look at that. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you are so good. God, thank you for your words. Thank you for your words that are like like honey to our taste, Lord. We'll, we'll pray your word right now. Lord, thank you that your words are very sweet to our taste. They are sweeter than honey to us. Lord, I thank you that your words are nourishing to us and your words are refreshing to us. And Lord, we love you and give us a heart for your word. Help us to want to read our Bibles more and more because we know that in your word is the truth and we know that it is that truth that truly sets us free. So we thank you for this. We love you. In Jesus' name, we say amen. And amen, and have a beautiful day, everyone. And remember that every day with God is the adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. All right, Kay, say goodbye to the people. Bye, people. And there you go. Goodbye, people. See you next time. Bye.